Hi guys, my name is Daisy Mae Harris and I'm part of the Your Shore Beach Ranger project. So for the last three and a half years, I have committed as well as dedicated my time towards the academy, which has meant I've been able to achieve my bronze, silver and gold levels. And that is an amazing feeling. But as we all know, we're currently living in a pandemic. A virus known as COVID-19 has changed near everyone's lifestyle whether they're a conservationist or not. So for your shore beach rangers, change was evident. Workshops, training days and events that were arranged for the summer have now been postponed or cancelled. But within the time we are back to normality, we can reflect. So I use the word change. Now that's a term we're quite scared of. It means we have to adapt to a new way of living. And for myself, I have just done that. I moved away from the Cornish lands, back to the Midlands, to my hometown where I was born. It's known as Shrewsbury, and I would say one of the coolest factors about it, it's where Charles Darwin was born. Yes, the known and beloved naturalist was born in my hometown. So maybe that's why my path was driven towards conservation or the natural world. I've no idea. But I came across a term that I've heard of before, but never applied it to my hometown. And that is known as connectivity. Though I live 53 miles away from the coastline, I'm still connected to the sea. I live by the River Severn, and the River Severn will eventually at some point come into contact with the North Atlantic Ocean. And that means connectivity. So now each September, the Atlantic salmon come and visit the River Severn. They travel out of the sea upstream to have their young and the River Severn is their known migratory route to do so. So the weir in Shrewsbury is an area where you can go watch them and it's amazing. It's a man-made infrastructure to slow down the amount of waterfall but that doesn't give any issues to the Atlantic salmon. They are soon able to use their strength and resilience to jump up the weir to have their young and that is a prime example of connectivity and for myself protecting such a terrestrial environment you know do instead of doing a beach clean which i did a lot of for beach rangers i can do a river clean and then that prevents it ending up in the sea so 80 percent of litter that come from landfill end up in the sea so that's quite a lot. So where I live, that's a factor of it. And I've certainly noticed the amount of litter here. So single use plastic bottles is something they use in the Midlands on a near daily basis, as well as food packaging. Whereas obviously living in a marine environment, there is more ghost gear, where there isn't so much of that here. The odd rope and that from farmers, that's it. And cable ties, which, can be applied to the marine environment as well but more for lobsters or crabs but anyways the importance of the word connectivity is present I'm living in it and I just find that so amazing and I don't think I would have realized this connectivity if I didn't come back home so I've been dedicated as I previously said to being involved with all the events and training and workshops that have been provided. And that has enabled me to grow as a marine conservationist, to become confident enough to speak with others and do what's best for the marine life in Cornwall, which is what I feel I have achieved so far. Though I'm not with it, I'm still connected and I can still help by protecting the terrestrial, preventing any harm from entering the sea. I can do my best and that's something I've learned over lockdown um, and, I, and I, I just think that's such an, an important you know message to share with others that feel quite negative at the moment and for me I turn that negative into a positive and it's something I will reflect on at one point in my life when when we're out of lockdown and I think thank god I, I um, took advantage of the environment I'm in for the better so I just want to thank Beach Rangers for, you know, enabling me the opportunity to become, you know, the marine 
conservationist or I am today and also what's going to happen after the pandemic I certainly feel that we will use a lot more technology so maybe not many people going out and about which might be a beneficial factor for the environment I'm unsure but as a species we adapt such as everyone and I think you know carry on that positivity even if you can we do have good days and bad days you know I was lucky enough to learn about mental health through your Shore Beach Rangers and I myself do suffer with it and for me nature is my well-being it's my existence and, so, and that's what I have to remind myself every day so tell yourself that as well and thank you very much everyone I hope you're all safe and well and see you on the other side bye guys <laughs> bye